Hey guys, today we're back with another quick review. And today on the channel, we'll be doing the first initial impressions on the brand new, newly announced today about, and about an hour ago whenever you watch this video, the new P226X5. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be doing the initial impressions on the brand new P226X5 that was just announced very, very recently. Um, this is probably the most hype I've had for a new pistol that SIG has released in a very long time. Mainly because if you know anything about the new X5s or the older X5s, let's say, uh, they was only made in Germany. You had to have them imported, so somebody had to put an import mark on them and the cheapest one that I could ever find was about $3,500. So that being said, they're now making them in the United States. They are very beautiful. They don't have any type of import marks or anything like that, and they're made to their custom shop. Uh, so I'm 100% for certain that they should hold the same, uh, the same accuracy and everything else that the older P226X5s uh, did as well. Uh, this is a gun that I've wanted now for probably five or six years. I've never, I mean, I've had a few chances of buying one, but I've never bit the bullet. The closest I've came was about a month ago whenever I seen two pop up on Gun Broker and they, was, they ended up ending about around $4,000 before the shipping and tax and all that. So as you all know, $4,000 is a lot of money, but uh, it's something I highly considered. I even put a bid in on it, but I ended up getting beat on it. But now uh, this gun right here, this is, this is something else. Let me tell you, I mean, I, uh, it, it's just, one of the most wanted guns that I've ever wanted anyway. So whenever I seen them send that email out this morning that it was, uh, that they was making the P226X5 again, it blew my mind. I about went off the deep end to be honest with you. Uh, these, these guns right here, like I said, it's just something I've wanted for a very long time. They're releasing two different models, one in the classic and one in the STAS, I believe is how they said it. It's more of a updated version. Uh, the only thing the updated version has different than the classic is that it has G10 grips. Um, it has a, uh, looks like to me, a gas pedal on the side of it and a skeletonized trigger. The classic is, uh, has just a classic takedown lever, uh, just standard trigger, and uh, it has a Coco Bolo wood grips on it, which look absolutely amazing. Both of the guns, uh, though, they're pretty much the same. It and the Classic doesn't have the skeletonized trigger as well, but it looks amazing. That's probably going to be the one. If I get either other, if I actually had to pick between them, I would get the Classic, just how well it looks. But if I can find either one, I'm not going to be too mad with them, let me tell you. But now, uh, guys, I, they haven't released yet on what the MSRP is on them, so I'll be looking forward to that. It could be around the $2,000 mark. Who knows? But now this is this is something I look forward to. But guys, let me know in the comment section below what you all think about these. Are you looking forward to getting one? Maybe um, I'm just like I said, I'm about at a loss of words because I never thought that they'd be making the P226 X5 again, especially in the United States. So guys, thank y'all for viewing as always. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews. I'll see y'all in the next video.